The union that represents a wide range of musicians in New Orleans has been taken over by the federal organization that oversees it. The American Federation of Musicians is restructuring for several reasons, including troubling finances. Mike McDaniel explains. In this April 2nd letter sent to New Orleans musicians who are part of the local 174496 Musicians Union, there are concerns about how union finances were handled for years. It's not one thing that immediately happened. It's kind of been compound over a series of time. Stephen Begnosh took over as trustee last month, stripping elected officers of their authority. He was put there by the American Federation of Musicians, or AFM, which deals with local unions across the country. This letter points to financial malpractice and administrative mismanagement as problems in the local union. A series of misfortunate events that got the local behind in its financial obligations. One obligation is paying dues and fees to AFM for its support and network. In principle, about $72,000. That's just in, in back. How long have they been behind? Three years. What does that say to you from a national level? Well, that's where we find, try to find out what happened. Begnosh points to Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Ida, and the pandemic as big reasons why the union doesn't have the cash. It was uh, spent with with salaries, pensions, repairs, rent. The letter also points out the 2016 reserve fund of about $500,000 is about $24,000 presently. There was no malfeasance intentionally. Begnosh is now tasked with shoring up the union, which is fully funded by its members. He says there are about 270 musicians who pay either $176 or $120 a year, depending on membership level. Eyewitness News reached out to union members Wednesday. They told us they either had no idea what was happening or were confused how it could happen. It's something that can be fixed. Having already restructured the local union in Austin, Texas, Begnosh plans to reestablish financial responsibilities and implement education and training programs. He says it'll just take time. Meet folks, restore fiscal stability, which we're already in the process of doing now. We've made magnificent progress just in the past couple of weeks. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. There will be a hearing tomorrow at the Union Hall on whether the trusteeship should stay in place. That's at 3 o'clock, and union members are invited to attend.